now lesson 3 in structures so we will see about structures and functions so we saw that we could pass integers floats cares as arguments to function so we can also pass structures to function so let's see how to do it so again it's the same way so we have a function and then in the argument we can pass struct for example struct book type b1 so this whole structure we can pass and return type so even we can return structures so we can both send structure as argument to a function and we can also return structures so now let's see so what's let's see one example so we have taking the book itself so we have struct book or instead of book let's take point and we have int x and we also do a type def int x int y so now what we do is that we define some functions like let's say add two points so let's have a function add and point p1 point p2 and it also returns a point which is the sum of both so what will happen is we will define a point called temp and which will be so now in temp what we do is that temp temp dot x is equal to p1 dot x plus p2 dot x and temp dot y is equal to p1 dot y plus p2 dot y and now we return temp so this way we can use functions and we can pass structures as arguments so which we do here and we can return also a pointer we can return structures from the functions so this is perfectly fine of passing structures but one of the problems with structures is that it's huge the size of structure is generally very large so for example if i take some record like a person so a person will have his name so let's say it's a char array of so char name 20 and then his address so address is again a char address and it should be large enough to store any address so 60 so int age so his age will be there and then the social security number so it will be int ssm and then so a lot of other things can be there so it is a huge size so 
that's why when we pass structures so when i want to say so modify record so let's have a function modify record and i pass the structure of that person struct person p so now when i'm passing so we know that it makes a copy of complete structure and now here it is like 80 bytes so 80 80 t4 bytes if we consider int as 2 byte so what happens now is that it is now whatever is copied is on the stack because function memory is on the stack and stack which is the memory given to function is usually very small so instead of copying the whole structure we should generally try to pass pointers to the structure so we should do is modify record and we should pass the pointer to that structure so struct person star p so now only the address of that pointer will be or address of that structure will be passed and from there we can change so the next thing about structures is now just one more thing is left that is nested structures so nested structure is nothing but structure inside a structure so like we have a line which consists of say two points so we can write struct point int the x coordinate and int y coordinate then when we define a rectangle so struct rectangle and i can have struct point p1 and struct point p2 so this defines a nested structure so point p1 and point 2 both are structures so next when i have to define a rectangle so i take rectangle r now i do r dot p1 dot x is equal to 5 r dot p1 dot y is equal to 6 r dot p2 dot x is equal to 7 and r dot p2 dot y is equal to 20 so this way the dot operator again we have to use two dot operators to go inside the nested structure and this nesting can be of any depth so this almost finishes our structures and next class we will learn about unions and finish this and about the bit fields